So you've got your default templates, but there's also custom templates that so many people within the .NET community have created that you can take advantage of. So if you wanna learn how, find out on this episode of Visual Studio Toolbox. Hey everyone, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Leslie Richardson, and I am joined once again by senior PM, Saya Hashimi. Welcome. Hello, hello, how's it going? Thank you for having me back. Yeah, likewise. So uh, once again, we're going to be talking about project templates and specifically how to take advantage of the project templates that the .NET community creates. So can you tell yeah. us more about that? Yeah, that's right. So uh, some functionality that we have built into .NET new and, and also now Visual Studio and Visual Studio for Mac is uh, being able to install custom templates that have been created by third parties. So, you know, templates that have been created by the community, uh, some of them might be open source templates. Others might be created by uh, companies like Amazon or uh, or various different kind of companies there. So yeah, it's all about uh, you know how to find templates, how to install them, and uh, also how to use them from .NET New and Visual Studio. That's really cool. So yeah, I'm sure there's tons of different reasons why you'd want to take advantage of the different templates that companies and just random people create. So I'd mm -hmm. love to see more. Yeah, that's right. Great. Okay, cool. Yeah. So um, when we're when we're working with community templates or or you know kind of custom templates here, the first kind of hurdle is you know how do you discover uh, how do you discover these templates, right? So uh, let me go into my browser here, and then I'll show you a few different kind of options for how you can discover templates. So your first option is really kind of NuGet.org. So here's where I can search for templates. Let me show you how to do that. There's a popular template that's called uh, .NET boxed, so I can do a search on nuget.org, and then in the filter here, I can I can expand the filter and then select template. <clears throat> now this will only show me uh, .NET new templates. So if I was to drill into this box .templates, here instead of um, instead of the command to add a package to a project, uh, we can see that you get the .NET new install command here. So I can just go ahead and copy this command. And then drop into a terminal, and then just paste that, and then uh, and then this will install that uh, that template, and then we can use this from the command line, uh, as well as uh, in Visual Studio and Visual Studio for Mac. So let's go to. So I just installed that one. Let me see where. Uh, it's here. Here's the the box templates. Yeah. So we got the ASP.NET Core API box, then the Graph one is from there, the Orleans one, and the NuGet package. All right, so that's one option for how to discover uh, community templates. <clears throat> Another option is uh, in my spare time, you know, I've developed this website, .NET new .net. <clears throat> So you can go here to also find uh, community templates. So uh, on nuget.org, it's just searching through the metadata for the package itself. But on this website, it will actually look for the, it will do searches for the individual templates as well. So let's say if I wanted to find templates that were created by Mads Christensen, I can do a search for Mads. We'll see, uh, you know, there's several different kind of templates here that Mads Christensen has created here. We can see I've got this mini blog uh, template, so I can go ahead and drill into that as well. And here you can see we get that same exact command for how to install the template. Uh, and then in addition, there's also a command uh, for how to actually execute this particular template here. So that's a that's another option for how to find templates. Um, they they will be adding functionality into .NET new uh, to to search and find uh, templates as well. But um, that experience is kind of uh, it's going to be changing. So I'm not going to go through what we have today because it's going to be significantly different. All right, now let me go back uh, to NuGet.org. Uh, and if I, if I was to search for Syed, I've got a template here that I've already created. And um, this template is available on GitHub as well. Let me go ahead and copy the command to get that one installed. So this template is available on GitHub and you can get to it through this AKA link. So aka.ms slash netcore templates that will bring you to this GitHub repository. And uh, um, let me go ahead and install this template because this is the one that we're gonna be working through uh, throughout this kind of set of videos here. So let me get this one installed here. 
All right, so now that I've installed that, we can see I've got some additional templates. So I got Syed Tool, Syed Web, and Syed Web Auth. Mm -hmm. All right, so now what I need to do is let me go into Visual Studio and I will show you uh, what needs to be done in order to get these templates to show up. The first thing that you'll need to do is to go in and turn on this preview feature to show uh, these templates. So I went to Tools Options then I'm going to go down to preview features and then we'll, we'll scroll until we get to show all .NET Core templates. So you check that checkbox and then, then you'll have to restart your Visual Studio uh, to get that option to appear. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and restart Visual Studio here as well since I installed that additional template. All right, so now all I did was, you know, I, I, I ran the .NET new install command a couple times to, to get these templates installed with .NET new. And then after I checked that checkbox, now we should see those same exact templates starting to appear in Visual Studio itself. Um, so for example, if I was to search for box, I should see the ASP.NET box templates. Um, and I have another community template uh, pack installed. It's, it's a it's a template for making bots, essentially, so that we could use those as well. Um, but let's go back to uh, to the one that I've created here. So we can see now I've got my those three templates that were installed on the command line. I've got my Syed tool, which is a console application. And then I've got two different kind of flavors of the web app here. Let me go into let me go into just the regular kind of vanilla web app here, and let's take a look at the experience. Uh, but let's also do note that you know we do have the same exact experience in Visual Studio for this custom template as as what we have for the templates that are built in, right? So I can customize yeah. the icon, I can customize the name and description as well as these tags. And if I was to search on these tags, you know, it would the the search results would would include these custom templates as well. Um, so you know, for all intents and purposes, it looks like this is a built-in template, right? You can't tell the difference between it. That is really um, cool. Yep, let's go to next here and we can see I get the same exact experience as I would for a built-in template here. And you know, I've got this kind of customized name as well. So we'll say uh, my new uh, web. So next, and we can see we also have uh, we also have some kind of custom parameters here, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you know, I've got the the target framework, like what I would expect, but I also have I also have parameters here that are specific to this exact template, right? Right. Um, so we can say Syed I Hashimi uh, for title. <laughs> we'll say demo. I feel like that has to be the author name. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and create that one. And then I'll show you uh, some of the things that have happened here after we created this project. All right. So we created the project. Let me go and take a look at the, uh, the program.cs. Mm -hmm. So we can see when I created this project, you know, I gave it a name of my new web. And as expected, the namespace is set to my new web. And you know, that's just how all the other templates behave. Let me go into the index.cshtml. I can see that my author name has been placed here. And then um, the site uh, title is uh, in the shared, uh, it's in the layout here somewhere, uh, demo. Yeah, that, there it is, demo, yeah. Um, so yeah, so, and then I can build, let me just do a control shift B to go ahead and build this guy. So we can see here that you know the project was was built successfully, and you know I can obviously run this with Control F5 or F5, and and uh, you know I think the the point that I want to really kind of stress here is, you know, you create a template one time, <clears throat> you install it, and you and the users will get the same exact experience for you know the built-in templates as well as these third-party templates, and and what I've shown here is inside Visual Studio, but we also have the kind of similar support in Visual Studio for Mac. So they also have like a preview flag that you need to go and enable. Um, and there's there's details here at that AKA link that I showed earlier. It was aka.ms slash netcore templates. Um, so if you were to scroll down here, you see, you know, what is it? Uh, how do I enable it in Visual Studio? And then how do I enable it in Visual Studio for Mac? Um, so so that's that's kind of the, the options there. and. And that's really about it for this video here. It's really just kind of, you know, we covered how to install a template. Uh, we covered um, how to use that template from the uh, .NET new console. I'm, I'm not sure if I actually exercise that here, but it's the exact same way that you do it with the, with the built-in template. And we covered that in the previous video. And, mm -hmm. and then we also showed how to use it in Visual Studio 2019. That is awesome.
like, I mean, I just love how those custom templates are made to feel like not inferior to the built-in ones because for many people, I'm sure those custom mm -hmm. templates are essential for their development. So yes, absolutely. For sure. Yeah. So uh, as we mentioned before, this is part of a larger series on .NET templates. So what are we going to be talking about next time? Um, I think next time we're going to be getting into uh, how to actually create your own template. And um, and I think we'll we'll be focused on uh, creating a template and then using that with .NET new. And then after that, we'll get into uh, how do we use that with how do we how do we fine tune it for Visual Studio? Yeah. Hmm? Good stuff. So tune in next time. And until then, happy coding. Thank you.